And while grand celebrations were held in Beijing, at least eight people have been arrested in Hong Kong as the city held double anniversary celebrations. Along with 100 years of the Chinese Communist Party, Hong Kong marked 24 years since its handover to Chinese rule. Five activists were detained for disorderly conduct and obstructing police duties. This included a man found carrying an imitation firearm. Three others have been taken in for allegedly distributing seditious leaflets. 10,000 police officers have been deployed across the city to clamp down on any potential unrest. The police force warning that protests would be met with arrests, but that hasn't stopped crowds from taking to the streets. Parts of the Causeway Bay shopping district had to be cordoned off as small groups began gathering this afternoon. Nearby Victoria Park has been locked down. Police say that there have been numerous calls on social media for illegal demonstrations at the park. It's a traditional gathering point for large protests, but the annual July 1st rally has been banned for the second year in a row because of COVID-19 restrictions. It is very important for me to stress that um, the most effective police measures is to prevent things from happening instead of deal with it after it happened. Hong Kong's acting chief executive John Lee says he's confident that the city will rebound now that social and political stability has been restored. Roland Lim has more. It's the first time that the chief executive isn't in town to oversee the official celebrations. Mrs. Carrie Lam is in Beijing to join in the celebrations there. Chief Secretary John Lee, standing in for her, said he had full confidence in Hong Kong's future as the economy and the jobless rate had improved significantly. While people's lives were returning to normal as social distancing restrictions were relaxed. The commemoration event comes a day after the first anniversary of the introduction of the national security law in the city, which prohibits secession, subversion and collusion with foreign forces. Supporters of the law say it has brought the city back from the brink and essential for the smooth implementation of one country, two systems while critics say it's being used to attack civil liberties and to silence opposition voices. More than 10,000 officers have been deployed across the territory to prevent the public from gathering on the streets. July 1st is traditionally a day when thousands of people march on Hong Kong Island to voice their demands on the government on a range of issues. Apart from the official celebration to recognize more than 740 people who made it to this year's honors list, there are no other major celebrations. The traditional July 1st rally has been banned by the police for the second year running, citing public health safety concerns. Although some pro-democracy groups say that they will be setting up street booths in order to highlight their cause to the public. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.